Hey there, Electricity Frenzy fans. Welcome back to another electrifying episode. Today, we've got a common issue that many of you might have faced, the mysterious tripping of your GFCI outlets. But worry not, because I'm here to shed some light on why this might be happening and how you can troubleshoot it. So, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let's dive into the electrifying world of GFCI tripping. Alright, folks, let's start with the basics. GFCI stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. Its main job is to protect you from electrical shocks by quickly shutting off power when it detects a ground fault. But, what's a ground fault, you ask? It's when electrical current takes an unintended path to the ground. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of why your GFCI might be playing tricks on you, but keep in mind that GFCIs don't protect against overload. So, if your GFCI is tripping, it's likely due to other factors we're about to explore. One common culprit is a faulty appliance. A malfunctioning device on the same circuit as your GFCI can cause it to trip. So, unplug everything from the outlets connected to that GFCI, reset it, and then plug in one device at a time. If the GFCI trips when a particular device is connected, you've found your culprit. Now, let's talk about water and electricity, not the best combo. GFCIs are particularly sensitive to moisture, and if water gets into an outlet or a connected appliance, it can cause a ground fault. Check for any water sources near your outlets or appliances, and ensure they are kept dry. Just like us, outlets age. Over time, GFCIs can become less effective or even fail altogether. If your GFCI is old or showing signs of wear and tear, it might be time to replace it. Trust me, it's a small investment for the safety it provides. Let's delve into some additional suspects. Worn out insulation on your electrical wiring can lead to ground faults, so inspect for any signs of damage or wear. Conductive dust or debris finding its way into your outlets can create a bridge between electrical contacts, causing a ground fault. Regularly inspect and clean your outlets to ensure they're free from any unwanted particles. And don't forget about the overall health of your electrical wiring, if it's deteriorating, it can lead to ground faults and GFCI tripping. Keep an eye out for signs such as discoloration, burning smells, or hot spots on your outlets. If you spot any of these red flags, it's time to bring in a licensed electrician to assess and replace the compromised wiring. If all else fails, it's time to call in the pros. Electrical issues can be tricky, and a licensed electrician can help diagnose and fix the problem. Don't take chances with your safety. If you're not comfortable or confident in handling electrical work, leave it to the experts. And there you have it, electricity frenzy enthusiasts. The mystery of your GFCI tripping unraveled with a few additional suspects. Remember, safety first, inspect your wiring, keep those outlets clean, and be vigilant for any signs of wear or damage. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and share it with your fellow DIY enthusiasts. Until next time, stay electrified, and may your circuits be free from tripping.